Hello beautiful souls, my name is Jessie and welcome to my Tiny Talks podcast. The show where we'll dive into self-love, inner child healing, and discovering your soul's purpose. I look forward to chatting with you every single Sunday and helping you grow exponentially in all areas of your life. Without further ado, here's today's Tiny Talk. Hello you guys and welcome to week 37 of Tiny Talks. I am always so excited to get on here and chat with you guys. It just always fills my cup and I'm just always looking forward to just coming on and sharing from my heart to yours. And I'm extra excited about today's episode because I've been sitting here brainstorming and just thinking about what I wanted to share and I decided I'm just going to hop on, go off my notes, pour from my heart and we'll see where this goes. And so I was brainstorming today for my podcast episodes for honestly the next like eight weeks and I just noticed so many ideas beginning to flow and I couldn't help but think of the reason that that was happening and it's because I kind of have stopped listening to maybe other people's opinions and to the media's perspective of wanting to have everything perfect, which kind of led into my episode last week, which is all about why getting started before you're ready is the best thing that we can do for ourselves. But I'm also somebody who's guilty of waiting to have all the answers, but also feeling like my ideas aren't valid enough and like somebody else must have a better idea or an approach than I do. And so when I was just sitting there brainstorming all these ideas and just so in flow, I just had to give myself a little pat on the back for how far I've come on this journey because in the beginning and really all growing up, I really depended on other people's validation and love and words to validate the things that I was doing and whenever I didn't really get that validation in some areas, it made me question the things that I was doing and although I've kind of always been strong in that I didn't really care about people's opinions, I very much was somebody who looked up to other people and tried to mimic as much as possible what they were doing because in my eyes if they were successful or they were getting attention or they were doing something right, there must be a way for me to do that too. And so a lot of my life I really grew up having these role models and people that I looked up to but it, I, looking back now I feel like it always came from a place of comparison of what I didn't have in comparison to them instead of how can I look up to them and grow from them. And so that is what today's episode is all about which is who are you comparing yourself to and why? Because I think it's our natural conditioning as humans to look at other humans to see what they're doing. And if you even think just about that famous saying, monkey see, monkey do, you know, it, it really is true in the aspect of that we really did have to mimic what other people were doing based on survival and based on seeing what works and what doesn't. And I think that that natural instinct within us that's been wired within us for pretty much ever really has stuck with us. And I think that in today's world with society and social media and just everything that you see, I think it really has tricked us into wanting to compare ourselves to be like other people. And I think a lot of it is a marketing strategy where if we can have the best hair and the best makeup and the best skin and the best clothes and the best vehicle and all these things and what they do is they use celebrities and people that we look up to because we think that if we compare ourselves to them, we're going to be like them and that gives us a boost of confidence. And so it can be really easy for us to fall into that trap of comparison and wanting to be like other people. And the point of today's episode is in a way of why we shouldn't compare ourselves to others. But I also can validate that there is a time and place for us to look up to other people, to have role models that we look up to, to guide us and to inspire us, right? Like I have different public speakers and podcasters and folks that I look up to in that realm because that's something that I envy about them. But it's asking yourself if you're trying to become them or if you're just positively influenced by someone. I think it's we need to catch ourselves when it becomes a toxic place when we feel like 
we're not good enough or we could never be good enough as somebody else and how that really is detrimental on ourselves, on our success, on our trajectory and on how we view and show up. Because if we've already compared ourselves to someone and said that we could never be like them, so why should we even try? That is a huge reason why we hold ourselves back. So in today's episode, I'm going to dive into five reasons of why we need to stop comparing ourselves to people. And especially people that have nothing to do with the the trajectory and the goal of which we're going. If we're trying to look up to people in the sense of what they're wearing or fashion or things like that, I think that that's a different story. But when our own personal mission and vision and goals and dharma and our soul's mission is something that we're beginning to feel like we don't have the the talent to do something or we don't have as much potential as somebody else that's when we really need to begin to catch ourselves so without further ado i'm going to dive into five reasons of why we need to stop comparing ourselves to other people so the first point i have in why you shouldn't compare yourself to other people is because Comparison is really just the thief of joy because if you're just constantly comparing of looking at yourself and looking at somebody else and just seeing the differences because often when we look at other people, we're seeing all the good things and that kind of puts a negative mirror on ourselves of not seeing all the great things that we have because we're hyper focused on all the great things somebody else has. And I think that the more time that we spend in that area and in that mindset, We're just robbing ourselves of our own joy because we begin to tell ourselves that we're not good enough. We could never be as good as them. We could never be as successful as them, whatever it is. And it veers us away from enjoying the gifts and the things that we as individuals each all have in our own certain areas. But when we begin to just compare ourselves to other people all the time, we're actually taking away from our own happiness and pouring that into an area of, again, scarcity and feeling like we're less than. And so the first reason of why we shouldn't compare ourselves is really because a lot of the times it doesn't do us any good. And again, yes, I'm saying it's okay and good to have role models and people that you look up to and that inspire you. But how far is that comparison going? Are you comparing yourself in a way that's pulling you back from wanting to move forward? Or does your comparison give you fuel to want to be better? So this really is an individualized thing where you have to ask yourself, where you're at with that. And even if you just find yourself out and about doing groceries or out at the store, whatever it is, and you find yourself looking around comparing yourself to other people or sitting in your vehicle and comparing your vehicle to other people's, right? Being hyper-focused on how other people see you is something that takes a lot of work to undo. Because I dealt with that for a lot of my life where I felt like everybody was staring at me and there was something wrong with me and everybody was you know, looking at me differently. What's so wrong with me? And so it's really beginning to recognize where you're at with this journey. But again, my first reason for why you shouldn't compare yourself is because it takes away from your own happiness. It takes away from your own stream of things that you do really, really well and all the amazing qualities that you do have. Because when we start to do that, all we're doing is hyper-focusing on all the areas of which there is a gap. And so the second point I have of why you shouldn't compare yourself to others is because comparison will stall your progress. And this was hugely talked about in my episode last week where I talked about, again, why just getting started and putting one foot in front of the other is so much better than waiting to be ready. But comparison is kind of the same thing because we often compare our beginning to other people's year in, two in, right? We compare ourselves to other people who have already got momentum going. And so of course, if we're at the beginning of something and we compare ourselves to someone who's already vastly successful in their area, of course, we're going to feel not good enough. Of course, we're going to feel like we're not doing enough. And so it's super important that we ask ourselves what we're comparing to. Why are we comparing to it? Again, are we comparing to it because we're envious of it and that's something that maybe we want to work towards or are we comparing ourselves in a way that we don't even want to try because we feel like somebody's already 50 steps ahead of us right comparison will stall your progress big time big time 
because our mind's just trying to tell us all the ways in which we shouldn't do something because somebody else is already ahead of us in that area. One example for this that I'll never forget was back when I was in high school and soccer was never really a sport that I played growing up. I never really was drawn to it except for when I got to high school and for some reason I was just feeling really pulled to try out for the team in grade 10 although it was something I had never done before. And I remember going to tryouts and I was just so in my head of comparing myself to everybody around me. And I remember looking around and everybody around me that was trying out for the team were ladies who had been playing soccer since they were really tiny. And so I was comparing myself who had always been very athletic but kind of new in the soccer world. And I was comparing myself to people that had 10, 12, 13 years more of experience than I did. And I remember telling the coach at the time, like, I was just so in my head and defeated. And she said, well, you know, today's a good day to grow. Today's a new day to start and to learn a new skill. And I'll never forget that time because it just pushed me to say, like, I could start today and figure it out as I go and, and get a little bit better every single day, 1% better every day. Or I can not start and never get closer to being better. You know, that's the thing that I think that we don't realize is that Sometimes life really is all or nothing. You're either going to go for something or you're not. But often, all the time, our mindset, in specifically comparison, as much as we might not realize it, is what holds us back. Because if we have excuses and things going on in our mind, it's likely because a part of us is comparing to something else that it's already seen. And so being mindful of the areas in which you are comparing yourself to other people and how that's leaving you feeling. The third point I have of why you shouldn't compare yourself is that you can't physically change who you are. And as much as yes, we can work on ourselves and we can grow and, and we can go to the gym and we can be consistent and we can change our outfit and our hairstyle and our makeup and those things, we can't physically change who we are. And there will never, ever be anybody like you. There will never, ever be anybody like me. And I think that when we can begin to find the beauty in that, in that we are all unique and have our own unique gifts and talents and things, we're able to give ourselves that grace of what our own potential is. Because yes, we've had those things since we were younger that spark interest and excite us and, and we, we naturally go for it. But as we get older and time goes on, we start to use that excuse of, you know, age. And we compare ourselves to, to people that are younger than us. Well, maybe if I was younger, well, maybe if I was older, well, maybe if I was this, well, maybe if I was that, right? How often do we hear that? But each of those statements at one point in your life would have been true because at one point you would have been that age. At one point you will be that age, right? But so you can't change who you are. And I think that the faster that we realize that and accept that and that it's a beautiful thing to accept, the more that we can give ourselves that permission to just start things. I remember being in college studying social work and there were women in my class who were double my age. And I found them comparing themselves to me all the time. And in reverse, I was looking up to them thinking, wow, you must have so much wisdom. And so like we just compare ourselves to other people our whole life, no matter where we are at, no matter what stage we're at. It's something that again, we just naturally are wired to do. But when we can just find that compassion for ourselves that you can't physically change who you are, it allows you to begin to look at who you're comparing yourself to. Who are you allowing to have that energy? And my whole goal of this episode is for you to begin to ask yourself, who are you comparing yourself to and why? Do you find yourself always comparing yourself to other people? Is there a certain person that you find yourself comparing yourself to? How does that leave you feeling after you do that? Because you often will feel pretty icky and feel like you're less than. And then we start to kind of go down that rabbit hole, right? And so beginning to recognize that there's no one like you. Being you is a unique gift that only you have. And once you're gone, that, that's gone, right? And so try not to spend your whole life comparing yourself to somebody else. Maybe you're that role model for someone and you don't even know it. Maybe you have people looking up to you and you don't even know it.
but maybe they're looking up to you because of your own unique skills, abilities, and traits. Not because you're pretending to be somebody else or trying to be somebody else. Because newsflash, we will never be anybody else. We will never be the same. And how boring would that be? I always imagine a world that we're all the same. That's so boring on so many levels, yet we all try so hard to fit in and to be the same. And I'm always just so curious about that. So that is my third point, is just remembering that you can't change physically who you are. You can change your mindset. You can change the things that you're doing, your approach to things. Your core can change with work. But remembering that and comparing yourself to other people will only ever leave you feeling less than. My fourth point of why you shouldn't compare yourself. And this one I think is huge in today's society. And that's that no one has a perfect life slash you don't know all the answers. And you don't know everything that goes on behind the scenes. Right? We often compare ourselves to people, but what are we comparing to? We're comparing to a post that we've seen on social media that's been made all pretty. We're comparing to an edited photo of someone and and getting down on ourselves because we don't look like that. We're comparing to someone who says one thing on social media but does another thing in, in real life. We never really know the whole story or the whole truth. All we know is our truth and our story. But when we begin to just compare ourselves, I encourage you to ask yourself, what truth do you have of what you're comparing to? What evidence do you have that shows that what you're striving for in that person is actually the truth. I think we often spend a lot of our time comparing to such unrealistic expectations based on things that we see online. If you're going to begin to compare yourself or to go down that road, I encourage you to find the truth. See all sides of the story. We see things on television and we want to be just like that. Right? From such a young age, we see things and we're just so persuaded. But so knowing that nobody has the perfect life, nobody has it all together. Nobody has just everything great going for them every single day. And yes, a lot of it is mindset in, in the way that we live our life. But from what we see as outsiders, it's typically only what that person wants you to see. And sometimes we lose touch with that and we forget that in the blips of a moment because we're just so hyper-focused on the shiny things and and the things that get attention and the popularity that we forget what we're comparing ourselves to. We're all just human beings on our own unique path and experience. But again, if something encourages you, allow it to encourage you. But allow it to encourage you in your own unique way. And allow that to encourage somebody else and have that trickle effect. Nobody has a perfect life. We will never know both sides of the stories oftentimes. So begin to ask yourself where you're at with that. Are you comparing yourself to something that you don't even know both sides of it? Or are you just comparing yourself to an idea of something that you would like to be? Go deep with that question. Ask yourself where you're at with that. And my fifth and final point for you guys of why you shouldn't compare yourself is because there will always be somebody ahead of you. And I think a lot of these points are really similar in my episode about last week about why getting started is better than waiting to be ready, but there will always be somebody ahead of you. There will always be somebody who has started something, who is further ahead, who who has done more work in an area. And so... Finding those people to grow from and to learn from is one thing. But when we compare ourselves to somebody who, again, is way ahead of us, has more repetition, has failed forward more times, has learned from their mistakes, we're comparing ourselves to an unrealistic expectation. We have to begin to ask ourselves, again, what we're comparing to. Is it that we're really, really, like, We just love listening to a certain person talk and and we just want to be like that. So we want to learn about them so we can know maybe some of the steps that they took. Or is it that we think that somebody's just doing great so we want to know exactly what they did so we can duplicate. But I think that the more that we can recognize that 
somebody will always be ahead of you. And the more that we compare ourselves of someone that's ahead of us, we just begin to feel less than. I remember I did that so much in the beginning of my podcasting journey. Like I'm talking a year before I even started this podcast because I would just listen to other podcasters and I would see myself speak on lives on Instagram or whatever it was. And I was just like, Phew, there's no way, there's no way I could ever be as good as them. But why is that? Because our mind is telling us that they're better than us in that moment. But we're not seeing what those speakers were like at the beginning of their career. So again, remembering that there will always be somebody ahead of you. And so I'm really, really passionate about this subject of why you shouldn't compare yourself because I just think there's such a big difference between having good role models and people that we want to ask questions from and learn from to help us grow and to help us level up. But it's about being mindful of not trying to be somebody else not trying to compete with somebody else. Because the thing that I think we forget is that we can all quote unquote win. We can all be successful. There is more than enough and a need for everybody's talents to go around. But when we just try to be the same as somebody else, first of all, people don't enjoy that. People don't like that. Imagine if, like, let's just say somebody decided to become the second Miley Cyrus and they named themselves the same thing and they sang the same songs. It would kind of be boring because we've already heard it before. We have to remember that we as humans like originality and we all have that unique individuality and originality. But it's about stepping into that and that that is okay. We don't have to be the same as somebody else. We don't have to have the same recipe. We can have the same formula to learn from and grow from, but we don't have to have the same outcome or the same answers. And I think that the more that we begin to realize that, the more happy and fulfilled we become as individual. And I'm just so excited that I get to talk about this subject today because I'm definitely somebody who's guilty of feeling like I'm less than everybody else. Feeling like I I, I compare myself on a pedestal that everybody else is ahead of me. But I'm done doing that because I recognize that the only person that's left feeling disserviced and undervalidated is myself. I'm the only one that's left feeling sad and depleted and not wanting to go for things. And so if that's you, just let this be your sign to catch yourself. Compare yourself to your own self maybe a year ago. How far you've come. Where you want to head, where you want to go, and who do you look up to to help guide you in that direction. I think a lot of these things that I talk about are things that we know, but that we sometimes lose touch with and forget. And I think it's things that can really take over our day-to-day life and can take over our mind and just leave us feeling really crummy. But we have the ability and the power to intervene with that and to stop at any time. We have the ability to change the, the direction in which we're heading. It's about pivoting and refocusing. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode all about reasons why you shouldn't compare yourself to others. I hope that this leaves you feeling inspired to maybe ask yourself where you've been comparing yourself to others. Maybe where you've been letting yourself down in different arenas. Maybe where you can give yourself more grace to all the wonderful things that you're doing. Because again, we all have those gifts and those things that we're great at. But sometimes we can lose touch with them and it's about refinding them. Thank you guys so, so much as always for tuning into this week's episode of Tiny Talks. I can't wait to chat with you guys all next week and I look forward to then. Bye you guys. Thank you all so, so much for tuning into this week's episode of Tiny Talks. I absolutely love connecting with you all, so make sure you're following me on Instagram. I am at jessiebrown13. If you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to leave a review or share with someone you think would enjoy. I look forward to chatting with you all next week. And remember, get out of your head and into your heart.